this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. Good morning, William Beaver, a very good morning to you. Welcome back to my lovely world. Good morning also to... I heard a door, I heard a door. There we go. We're also being joined by Fizzy very briefly. There we go. There was a... <laughs> There was Fizzy showing up for a, a brief moment in the, the morning as well. All right then, let's go and have my breakfast, which is, of course, going to be a cake. Nom, 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 nom. Delicious, Barnaby. Uh, you can come with me. And we're going to head to the, the, the Love Garden. So the Love Garden was full up in the, the last episode, but now it kind of isn't because I've discovered... I don't know how I didn't even think of this. I've discovered a new row uh, along here where William Beaver is. And you can see, sadly, we are getting rid of the flowers. I'm trying to work out a new way to add more flowers. I was thinking of maybe adding, like, flowers along the outside here instead of the fences or something. Could look quite nice. Or maybe even, like, hanging flowers on the top. I don't know, just to make it pretty. You know, we got these flowers in the middle still and I'll never get rid of them but I like the flowers in the the love garden so yeah I'm gonna try and work out a way to, to add more of them and uh, also to add more people just like Victoria and the reason I'm adding Victoria is because she made a ginormous chalk drawing of me and you can see here I don't know where it is it's in an absolutely huge area and look at it look at it compared to the size of her that must have taken a really long time to fill that entire thing in but I think it looks amazing and I wanted to say thank you very much Victoria for making it and sending me the the picture and welcome to my love garden right then Barnaby let's go and get you to the the, the dog house we can go and grab a uh, another dog and then we are going to be heading to the, the fun land to hopefully finish off my boat bowling mini game. And if you didn't see the last episode, it's a, a pretty fun game where you need to launch boats to try and break lily pads and then you're going to, to get points. And in the last episode, we kind of built the um uh, like the big pool, like the big arena. And in this episode, we're going to go and get everything else ready. Uh, so yeah, we can actually play the game and we're going to do that while being joined by Benton. I don't think we've had Benton with us in a while. So Benton, you can uh, come with us and and uh, we can go down to the uh, the the secret cat cave <laughs> under underneath here, my secret base, and we can use the the, the teleporter. Uh, to get all the way to the, the the fun land and so there's only a few things left to, to do to be honest so I'm hoping to get it done pretty quickly and then we can play the game for a bit we can have a few tester games because I know kind of what the game's gonna be but I haven't worked out exactly what all of the the rules are, are going to be and actually I might use that boat a little bit later on so thank you for that Benton <laughs> for for once I'm actually happy that one of my dogs dispensed a boat so yeah hopefully we can work out today uh, exactly what the the, the rules are, are going to, to be so I will see you uh, in just one moment William beaver who knows we might end up seeing fizzy elephant as well at some point in the episode but with fizzy uh, it's hard to, to know exactly so yeah let's go and press the the button and go and head off to the fun land all right i think i can feel us uh, starting to to slow down and we should be right at the the fun land i'm never gonna get used to that i'm never gonna get used to just the the joy of immediately being exactly to, to where i need to go do you remember the old days where i used to spend ages like trekking all the way to the the, the fun land every video like i'd spend half the video in the oh Fizzy? Hello, Fizzy. Um, okay, well, looks like Fizzy's Fizzy's doing whatever Fizzy's doing, and while he does that, we can go and get the the, the rest of this game here built. Yeah, so I said I'd like I'd spend the majority of the video traveling to, to wherever wherever I was building, you know, rather than actually building it. But uh, yeah, that's uh, not the case anymore. Right then, what what should we do first? Let's um Let's do the tunnel to the middle first, because that's kind of quite important. So basically, the way the game works is we both um, both players will put down uh, a bunch of um, lily pads in the middle of the area. Then we take turn knocking the the boats into the the middle, and it's whoever can get rid of the 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 most of them. But to get the lily pads down, we need to to kind of be able to to get to the middle. So I'm going to add like an underground tunnel. So this needs to to lead from right in the middle of the game, which I believe is uh, is here. So let's kind of like just dig down here. Actually, I should make a um. I should make a ladder first, or a few ladders, uh, just so uh, I can um, uh, just so I can block the the water off. Otherwise, it's all going to rain down. I mean, this boat might actually be coming a <laughs> coming quite handy as just a, a nice way to, to get to the the middle and back. So let's go and uh, make myself a crafting table and make it a few ladders because otherwise the the entire tunnel is going to fill up full of water, and that's uh, that's not what we uh, we want to to happen. So let's. Um, Let's kind of let tell what. Let's nudge the boat to the middle a bit. And oh, that was a little bit further than I meant to. That that was a good practice actually. That was a good practice for the game. What I was trying to do is this, right? Jump and then jump on the boat. There we go. That's quite a, a quick way to to get to the the middle. Right then. So let's go and just start putting down these ladders as we um 
go and dig down. It's kind of a bit awkward kind of doing ladders like this, to, to be honest, because you can't, you can't place like a ladder if you're standing in that same block. But let's go down probably about this steep, I think will be good. And we are going to, to decorate the, the walls a little bit as well and uh, kind of make them, make it not like look, look a horrible dirt tunnel that you need to, to go through to, to start the, the game. So we are uh, going to probably, I think we're going to do orange wall uh, inside of this tunnel as well, just to, uh, to kind of jazz it up a little bit. So uh, hopefully if I just kind of keep digging this way, I'm going to meet up with the, the tunnel I did before. I don't know if I've kind of gone down too low, so hopefully I'm not just going to go and just dig miles away and uh, <laughs> end up ruining whatever uh, fizzy's building. There we go. This is uh, kind of what uh, I, I found before. So let's kind of start. Oh, hello, William Beaver. That was a, a rather dramatic entrance. You're almost like a ninja there wearing completely black, just like <laughs> jumping down on top of my head. But yeah, we can go and uh, fill in the uh, the rest of this tunnel uh, with orange wool like uh, like this. I'll tell you what, if I go and start doing the rest, William Beaver, seeing as you like tunneling, you can do that. So if we just kind of dig out all of these walls like... um like this and uh, fill it all in with uh, with orange wool. Uh, yeah, we can get this uh, this tunnel done. And while he's doing that, I'm going to be getting the, the rest of the, the game working. And oh, I didn't make enough ladders. <laughs> that's uh, that's what I'm going to do first then. So excuse me, William Beaver, please don't hit me with the shovel. It's always it's always scary running past someone when they're digging like that, you know, because you're just scared you're going to get knocked immediately by uh, <laughs> uh, whatever they're doing. So yeah, let's just go and add the, the ladders on the, the other side uh, so William Beaver can get out there. And then yeah, I'm going to add the, um, I'm going to add the barricade in. So basically there's going to be the, um, the area that's, um, what is Fizzy doing? I don't, I'm, I, I'll be over to look at you in a second, Fizzy. You can whatever you're doing. I'm, <laughs> I'm just going to leave him to it as I normally do. It looks like he's keeping himself entertained, which is the, the important thing. So yeah, this is going to be the, um, the boundary to basically show, you know, where you're uh, able to go, just so you can't go in and start breaking the, the lily pads your, yourself, basically. So for this, I'm going to use fences as the, the, the barricade, and then I'm going to have, um, uh, some yellow stained glass, uh, to kind of block you off so it kind of makes uh it's kind of like my invisible wall you might have seen when i did the like the maze master game or even the the boing beaks game i did something similar uh, so let me uh let me make a bunch of um of this wood into defenses and let me kind of show you how this is uh is going to to work so let's dig down the ground first we need to go three blocks in it's kind of hard to see i think is that three blocks in there if i kind of go into the water that's uh let me just put down some blocks to count. One, two. Yeah, that is uh, three blocks in. So let's go and get rid of this. So this needs to now go 11 blocks along. And then this is where the, the, the fences are, are going to be. So if I if I just put one down there and then just go five even, uh, either side. So one, two, three, four, five. And then the same on the, the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Just like that. So that should be 11 blocks along. And then I can just go and put these... um. Uh, fences on here like this and we're basically going to go the the entire way around the the outside like this i now need to go four blocks along diagonally one two three it's hard in the water four like that <laughs> and then if i go and now along this way uh, that's going to do the the other go going 11 along there so uh, let me kind of just put these fences in here like this and let me just show you how this is going to work just to explain exactly what it is i'm doing just in case you're uh, a little bit confused right now so if i kind of go up a, a couple blocks like this and then put I think it's on this level I need to, to do. Actually, I think it might be one low. I think it's on that level. And if I do this glass here along like that, you'll see that even though it looks like I can fit through here and go to the middle, I can't. I kind of get blocked off. See, kind of like an invisible wall. So that's basically marking where you're able to, to fire the, uh, uh, yeah, to, to fire the, the boats from. So yeah, and let's just go around and do this from the, the, the outside. Has, uh, has William been, whoa, what? <laughs> what are you doing to that poor mushroom physique? <laughs> What a ridiculous sight. It just looks like he's swinging around the pole. That looks unbelievable. <laughs> right, that looks like um, uh, William's still working hard at the, the the cave down there. So yeah, let's see if I can uh, uh, let's see if I can get the, the rest of this done myself. So I basically just need to, to carry this pattern. And then this is going to be the, the barricade. So of course, you can't get through here, but the boats can. So you're going to place the, uh, the the boats down with the dispensers on the, the outside uh, around there. And then yeah, the boat's going to fly through here, but you kind of you kind of get blocked off. The only rule is, is that you're not allowed to, to ride the boats. Because if you are riding a boat, then you are able to, to fit through. So I guess that's like, that's like a foot fault, I guess. <laughs> anyway, let's go along here. 11 again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then 4 across this way. 1. Hopefully I'm doing this right. <laughs> Hopefully it's not all wonky. 1, 2, 3, and 4. 
and then 11 along this way. Does this look like this is lining up okay? Yep, that looks three blocks away. I think I've done this right. So we now need to go 11 again. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, like that. And then 4 across this way. And this should link us up to the, um, the one that I started doing earlier. So that's 2, 3, 4, and then hopefully this is going to link up perfectly. And there we go. I love it when this happens. I love it when it just works because sometimes it doesn't and that makes me upset but it seems <laughs> to, to just about be uh, be working so let's go here and uh, start filling in all of these fences and I think I'm going to I'm going to, to need to make a few more fences as well so let's go and um uh, make them now and then I just basically need to, to carry along with the the uh, the same um, uh, pattern but then using the 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 glass on the, the the top and then to be honest we're we're actually not far off just being completely done with this game to, to be fair because it's really then just adding the 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 dispensers down and yeah once the the tunnel in the the middle is done as well we should be uh, ready to have a bit of a, a practice game which is like I'm looking forward to because I think this is gonna be it's gonna be a fun game because I think there's gonna be a lot of moments where you're watching the boat and it's going quite slow slowly and you're like oh is it gonna get that lily pad or it might just miss a lily pad or only just skim one but still break it like I think there's gonna be a, a lot of tense moments especially if like um uh, two players are very equal and the uh, the the scores are quite close I think that's gonna make some uh yeah some pretty uh, exciting games so let's go and grab the the rest of this glass and uh, this shouldn't take uh, long at all I just kind of need to uh, to once again follow the 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 pattern along uh, the pattern along on the the outside like this and uh, just make sure it's uh, directly above where the the fences are and even on kind of like these diagonal areas it still blocks you it still makes it so you um uh, you're not able to, to to get through so that all works really well so let's go and do that to here and is this the uh the start of the straight section I need to I think I need to go one row further along here I have uh, have you come to have you come to supervise me fizzy elephant have you come to to check i'm doing it all correctly and he's <laughs> he's nodding a lot so i guess uh i guess i gotta be doing something right oh have i got a cookie because i did it right do i get a cookie as a prize a soggy cookie <laughs> you know me so well fizzy elephant you know how much i like eating my my <laughs> <laughs> my soggy cookies, my favorite things in the, the world. Well, tell you what, Fizzy, now you can give me a hand if you want. If I throw you, let me throw you some, um, uh, some dirt and uh, some of this stained glass. Do you want to just start carrying on what I'm doing on the, the other side? <laughs> it's like he nods when I'm talking. It's like he's speaking for me. It makes me laugh so much. <laughs> right then, let's go and uh, carry on this uh, around here. Then yeah, Fizzy does the, the other side. Then it should all link up perfectly. I'm just really scared that I'm going to end up doing this accidentally one wonky. And then it's and then it's not going to work, you know, unless it kind of uh, goes and uh, fits in perfectly. It's not going to, to, to line up um. Uh, correctly and it won't block anyone at all so I've got to make sure is this right yep that seems to be blocking me there I'm not able to to get through there and uh, we're now kind of getting to the 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 start of this side here and did you see all those like those blocks bouncing up and down look at that look at the little bouncy blocks oh, you can see it over there it looks like there's a little flying fish or something oh if we had a fish if we had a fish we could throw that down and you'll just see like it just bobbing up and down out the water that looks bizarre <laughs> it looks hilarious though look at them I kind of just want to throw down a bunch of little random blocks all over the place just so they're all kind of bouncing up and down in weird ways. Is there anything funny? Oh, you should put some cookies down, Fizzy. You should make some some bouncy cookies just bouncing up and down. <laughs> all right, let's go and get the um, the rest of this area filled in. Uh, we now need to, to kind of go around the, the 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 corner here like this. Have I got more glass? I mean, I think I do. Yeah, there we go. I do have uh, uh, some more glass. I don't think uh, I don't think building this glass kept Fizzy's attention. Oh, it is. I thought Fizzy wandered off. Then Fizzy has a uh, has come back. I think he knows that as soon as this is uh, is finished, we're able to to play the the game. <laughs> <laughs> so he cares uh, a lot more about getting it uh, getting it done in time. So we just now need to go and uh, finish off this uh, this final area along here. And I put that in the wrong place, but no worries, I can get rid of it there. And there we go. That's the, the entire barrier. And oh, up popped a, uh, a William Beaver out of the, the middle, out of nowhere. That was very elegant there. <laughs> You've had a, a dramatic entrance and an elegant entrance so far to today, William Beaver. <laughs> I think this is... um. I think this might be the game pretty much done now, to be honest. Let's go and uh, let's go and admire William Beaver's handiwork, shall we? Let's go and uh, head down here and uh, let's see uh, what the, the the tunnel looks like. It's it's pretty standard. It's what you would ex expect. It's a simple tunnel leading to the the middle, but it certainly looks uh, much nicer uh, than it did before. So, all right then, let's uh, let's have a little quick check to see what um, Fizzy Elephant was up to, and then I think we uh, we can go and have ourselves a uh, we can have ourselves uh, a game. So let me go and. Um, uh, take out uh, the 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 zombie and uh, it looks like I don't really know what this looks like to be honest it, it looks like something that fizzy but I think that's like a pumpkin cookie in the middle and then there's a mushroom just spinning around it I don't know maybe this is some 
I don't know, some sort of special ceremony or something that Fizzy Elephant does, you know, on a certain day each year or something. I, I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> Very creative, though, Fizzy Elephant. Right, then, let's go and have a game then, shall we? So, um, tell you what, you guys can have a have a game first, a bit of a test to go, and I'll play against the, the winner. Let's do it that way. So let me go and throw you some some lily pads. It uh, looks like William Beaver's there dealing with all of the googlies, and that was very close. That creeper very nearly blew up then. So uh, Fizzy William, uh, do you want to come and uh, and join me in the 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 game? I'm gonna go and make a I'm gonna make a, a few boats, uh, and uh, we can go and have the first game. So let me throw you the lily pads. So let's have a a smaller game than the actual game. Let's do five lily pads each. So that's uh, five lily pads for for you, William Beaver, and then five lily pads for. Oh no, I did one too many there. If you throw one, uh, throw one back. Uh, yeah. So if you both place down five lily pads in the the middle, wherever you want, and uh, while they do that, I'm gonna go and make uh, some boats for for us to to, yeah, to play with. So if you go down the the, the little tunnel, uh, go inside there and place down uh, five lily pads each and uh, yeah I'm just gonna I guess keep count of whoever does the the uh, whoever breaks the, the the most of them and those blocks are still bouncing up and down <laughs> yeah let's go and get a selection of boats and oh, I haven't put the dispensers down yet have I I just realized that I forgot to put the the dispensers down let's go and uh, and uh, quickly put them down now so we can go and uh, uh, yeah have the 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 game. So these are going to be like basically all the way around the outside. So there's going to be like one in the the middle, and then we go along three blocks. One, two, three. Uh, wait, let me count that again. One, two, three, and then there's going to to be one here as well. And we basically do this the the entire way around the the outside. And so these are basically the the points that you can place the 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 boat down from essentially. So these are like kind of like the the spawn points I guess for the the boats. And then we're going to do some on the um. Some on the, the corners as well. So I can do one like uh, here, like that. And then if I break away this corner here, uh, just in case you want to do like a very uh, particular angle, then we can do the same again. One, two, three, and uh, do one down here. You just got to be careful when um, uh, placing down the, the, the dispensers uh, that you... Um, you do it facing the the right direction, uh, so the boats actually go into the the water rather than just being launched into the the, the sky somewhere. Because <laughs> otherwise, otherwise your boat is going nowhere. So let's do these ones on the the, the corner here, uh, like this. Be careful not to to launch any boats into the the middle, uh, because otherwise, um. Yeah, otherwise you're going to start breaking away some of the the, the lily pads. So uh, let's just go and carry on doing them around this side like uh, like this. And <laughs> every time I look up, I just see that mushroom going round and round again, and it makes me laugh. But well, tell you what, William Beaver, if you want to give me a, a hand quick, actually, I can, um, if I go make some stone buttons, do you want to just go and uh, put these next to the the, the dispensers? And uh, maybe put some uh, uh, some boats into to them as well, uh, just so we can uh, get everything completely ready uh, for the, the first tester game. So yeah, I think what we're going to do here, this is really only just to, to see whether the game works or not. Uh, but we do um, uh, William Beaver going up against Fizzy Elephant. We see who's able to, to break the, the most boats. And then I'm just going to go uh, uh, against the person who won that game. Uh, but yeah, this isn't the tournament or anything. We will have in the, the next episode a, a full tournament as, uh, as normal, an entire episode playing uh, boat bowling. Uh, yeah, to see who the, the, the boat bowling champion is going to, to end up being. And there's, uh, I think, two more uh, dispensers uh, to place down here, just on the, the, the corner, uh, down here like that. And then, yeah, once William Beaver has gone and put down down all of the the buttons uh yeah we're going to to be ready to to begin so right then who who is going to to go first just uh, i guess whoever puts down their boat first can uh, can go first and uh, yeah you can just take it in turns uh to to go and uh, break away the lily pad so how it works is you launch out the the, the boat uh, you then go and, um, uh, yeah, just kind of knock the boat forward and see how many lily pads you can break. And um, you can go and keep counting. And it looks like, uh, it looks like Fizzy wants to, to go first. He has his boat ready. So put the boat inside one of the, the dispensers and press the, the button. And then you need to, to knock the boat in. But once the boat has gone past that line, you're not allowed to do anything else with it. You kind of just got to, to leave it and uh, see uh, what ends up happening. So here's Philly, Fizzy trying to launch the boat. And oh, it's not going very fast. You can still keep knocking it. But there we go. That's one... Two, is it going to break another one? Almost three. There we go. I think that's three lily pads broken. So that's a, a very good start from Fizzy to, to get free on his uh, his first go. So it's your go now, William Beaver. Uh, let's go and uh, throw you down a boat just in case you uh, you don't have one. And uh, yeah, you need to you need to see if you can do better than free, which uh, to be honest is going to be uh, is going to be pretty difficult because free is a a very good score to start with. So you can uh, you can choose wherever you want to to start the, the the boat from. He doesn't look very confident. He was there shaking his head. So he's got to try and pick a good one. So it's going to, to line up uh, with all of the lily pads. There are kind of three in a row there. He might be able to to, to be able to, to get them. So there we go. Oh, that was a good launch. Some good speed. So that's one. 
Any more? I think he's gonna get at least one more. Oh, did he get it? There we go, there's two. So is it gonna get any more? Nope, I think that is the, the end there. That is two for, for William Beaver. Uh, but we're gonna keep going until they're, they're all gone anyway. So there's still plenty of time for a, a, a comeback. So it's gonna be uh, your go now, Fizzy Elephant. If you wanna go and uh, put your, your boat down, uh, maybe you can stand on a, on guard duty while we do this, William Beaver, because there are <laughs> quite a, a lot of googlies on the, the outside. So yeah, uh, put down your boat, Fizzy Elephant. And uh, whenever you're ready, uh, go and, uh, and dungeon in. And uh, yeah, we can see how many Fizzy can, uh, can get. So there's 10 Lily pads in there at the the moment uh, so don't forget to put the uh <laughs> don't forget to put the boat in first and uh, yeah he's going for a good lodge he really jumps up high on it and it seems to be working well and oh he nearly got two then he nearly got two but he just missed it so that is a uh, another point there to, to Fizzy Elephant. And oh, is it going to get that other one? It's getting very close to another one in the middle. It looks like it's going to, to stop right about there, though. So it's your go now, William Beaver. Uh, so that's uh, four points at the, the moment to, to Fizzy. And it's William Beaver's go now. And because there's only ten, I guess it's kind of like a, a best out of um, a best out of ten almost. So it's going to be the first person to get six boats is going to, to be the, the, the definite winner. And while, <laughs> while uh, William Beaver does that, it looks like Benton's going to, to try and get the skeletons at all. Did he get any lily pads? Were you able- Oh, I don't think he got any. I think he- I think he missed the, the lily pads. So that's zero points there uh, for, for William Beaver. But don't worry, you still have a, a chance to, to win this. So let me go and make a, a few more boats. It's going to be your turn now, uh, Fizzy Elephant. You need to you need to try and get two lily pads. If you get uh, two lily pads in this go, then that means you are going to to be uh, the 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 champion of this round, and uh, we can have a game against each other. So that's one lily pad. And oh no, it didn't go fast enough. I think if that went a little bit faster, then you would have been able to um to, to get another one. But it wasn't uh, it wasn't Fizzy's best shot. So you have a chance here, William Beaver. You are still in the running. So there's another boat. Choose where you want to to start from. Of course, it kind of gets harder and harder the more you play. Just because there's less lily pads for you to, to shoot the the uh, yeah to shoot the um the the boat at, so there are two kind of in a row here. So if uh, if uh, William Beaver kind of gets a um. A, a nice go here and uh, lines it up perfectly. He might be able to, to get both of them. Oh, that is a good launch. Oh no, it went to the side. Is he going to be able to break it? No, it went slightly wonky. <laughs> That's a bad luck for, for William Beaver. But it means now that if Fizzy Elephant gets one lily pad on this next go, uh, then Fizzy Elephant is going to be the winner. So we're, we're Fizzy. We're in, we're in the middle of a game, Fizzy. <laughs> I don't know if the game's quite holding his attention. He keeps going back to his mushroom. Right, Fizzy Elephant, if you get one boat, you're going to, to be the, the winner of this round. One lily pad, sorry. So he's there, launched the, the boat. He's trying to do his general tactic of jumping up on it. Is he going to be able to break the lily pad? It's close. It's close. Did he get... I think he missed it. It just skimmed it. Did you see how close it went? It went really, really close, but just missed it. So it's your go now, William Beaver. So do you want to go and, uh, and launch your... um? Uh, your boat. So you got two at the moment. So um, you kind of really need to, to rely on uh, on basically having perfect rounds and Fizzy Elephant uh, not doing very well. So you want to try and get as much speed as you can. So you really want to kind of jump on the boat and just kind of sprint forward and try and nudge it. There we go. That was good. Good speed. And that's one. Is he going to get another? Oh no, it bounced off another boat. But is that boat going to get any others? Because if that boat went and hit another one, that would still count. But that was still a good round. So that's a uh, another lily pad now for... um for William Beaver, and it's your go now, Fizzy Elephant. So once again, just like the, the, the last round, if you get one lily pad, then you are going to, to be the, the winner of this round, and then I'm going to go up against you in the, the, the final round. So he's perfectly lined up to get one. He doesn't really need it to go very fast. He just wants it to go very straight. <laughs> and at the moment, he's kind of, you're kind of pushing it in the wrong direction at the moment, Fizzy Elephant. You're kind of <laughs> knocking it to the, the land rather than in the, the water. You want to take your time here. Don't rush, Fizzy. You don't want to, to, to miss this one. And he's jumped in the boat and okay, I guess that is a strategy. <laughs> he didn't go under and he was able to, to break the, the lily pad, which means Fizzy was the winner. So now we're going to, to have a, a showdown against each other. So let's um let's go and break away all of these uh, these boats and uh, we can go into the, the, the middle and spread out the lily pad. So let's do the um 
And let's do the, the same again. And uh, let's just say first person to get five points. I think that might be a better way to, to do it rather than doing it until all of the, the lily pads go, uh, just because it's obviously much more difficult than I expected. Let's just do the, the first person to break away five lily pads. That's the way we're going to, to do this. So let me go and uh, break away the, the rest of these boats. So if you put down um, uh, uh, five lily pads, well, let's just let's put down more. Let's put down, let's put down all 20. Let's just put down all of the, the lily pads we have and then do it that way because I think then we're going to be able to get more combos and get a, a bunch of uh, lily pads in, in one go. So let's just go lily pad crazy. This is kind of what I wanted to do today. I kind of wanted just to, uh, to play around and kind of test out the, the game and see what would uh, end up being the, the, the most fun. So let's kind of just uh, jump uh, around here and uh, place lily pads all over the place and just kind of spread them out as evenly as, uh, as we can. And yeah, see how many we're going to be able to, to get rid of. Of course, whoever goes first has a, a big advantage. So in the, the actual game, when we do the, the tournament, we're going to, to take it in turns going first just to, to make it fair. Uh, but yeah, uh, for now, that uh, that doesn't matter too much. So let's go uh, back down here, and uh, I'm going to be nice. Let's say, Fizzy Elephant, you can you can go first. So it's going to be the first person to break away five lily pads. So whenever you're ready, uh, you can go and uh, and place down the the boat, launch it forward, and let's try and uh, and keep count how many he gets. And oh, it didn't go very fast. Is he going to be? Oh, he might not even be able to get any. Is it going to hit any of them? It's gradually making its way to one. It doesn't have to be moving very fast to to break them, and it did. He was able to to break one there. Is it going to get any more? I know that wasn't amazing, but considering how slow it went, it's still quite good he was able to, to get one. All right, then, let's try and pick a good place to line it up. I think kind of straight down the middle. If I can actually maybe like from here, if I kind of go diagonal that way, I might be able to, to get loads of them. So let's go and launch the, the, the boat and let's see if I can get some good speed to try and get it all the way to the end. There we go. One. Oh, any more? Two three, and I think it's going to, to stop there because it was slowed down by the lily pads, but still, if I get two on my next go, then that's going to work out very well for, for me. So you ready to, to do your next go, Fizzy? It looks like he is if you want to go and launch this. So at the moment it's uh, it's one to, to two. That's another one for Fizzy. It looks like he's going to get at least one more. There we go. That's another, another lily pad gone, and he might actually get a, a third one here as well. And there we go. That is, uh, that's the third one. So that means that Fizzy Elephant now has four points. He only needs to get one lily pad on his next go to, to win, which means... I need to, to get two lily pads in order to, to win. So I need to do very smart. There's a big group directly in front of me here, actually. If I um do the, the boat here, and if I can get this in a straight line, I might be able to get about four here. I want to get some good speed. One. Whoa, how many was that? Was that like three? That's three lily pads gone there, which means I was able to get six lily pads, and I was the, the winner. <laughs> that was a good game, and my reward is some more soggy cookies. Yay me. <laughs> that game's really fun. I think that's the way to do it. I think it's good to have about 20 lily pads in there and say first person to, to break away five. That seemed to work well uh, because otherwise I think the games might end up lasting too long. And seeing as we have two rounds for each game, I think that might be the, the way to do it. So as I said in the, the next episode, we are going to have a, bolt, uh, a boat bowling tournament to see who is the uh, the boat bowling master. And uh, yeah, uh, hopefully you're going to, to, to come back to, to see that. I think it's going to be a, a lot of fun. But for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye!